Hello, welcome. To, I'm Danny, and this is my weird little place on the internet where we're going we're gonna to have a fun talking about audio stuff. And if you clicked on this video, obviously you wanted to learn more about the Stanmore, do some research. So is the Stanmore 2 the sweet spot, or is it like a total compromise between all the speakers where it's not really great at anything? The Stanmore 2 has got pretty much everything like the other speakers. It's got your RCA inputs, it's got your glowy little knobs, it's got Bluetooth 5.0, it's got 80 watts of power. As usual, I always like to dig a little bit deeper, so let's take a look inside the Stanmore. So, first impressions, uh, this is plastic, so I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking it was going to be steel like the Woburn. It's definitely not as tight of a fit as the Woburn. The Woburn was like impossible to get off. It was very tightly sealed. Some of the main differences, speaker-wise, it's just got one woofer, one port, and then just two definitely smaller tweeters than the Woburn, so they are smaller. Uh, and a much tinier circuit board. But all the connections do look pretty decent. They look pretty high quality. You can definitely tell they've got the, the hand touch on an assembly line. <laughs> Somebody was gluing these parts together. There's no cotton inside, so that's different. Uh, usually there's a big piece of cotton inside, so maybe uh, with one port you don't need as much. The, uh, the front plate is steel, which that probably makes a difference. So the Stanmore 2 is definitely in the middle of all the speakers I've got out here today in terms of pricing and size, literally. You've got it compared to the Gen 2 Woburn and the Gen 1 Woburn, then also the Acton Gen 1, which is the only one I have, and the Tufton. Unfortunately, all of the prices are completely different on these things too, and there's not really like a happy medium. This is like 379, this is 549. These you can get between 300 and 400 for the Gen 1. The Actons, you could probably get this for like 100 bucks probably. And then the Tufton, well those just went up in price to like 450. They used to be 379, but inflation so now it's not really necessarily comparable with the Stanmore 2 anymore, even though it's about the same size. I think the price is pretty steep for what you're getting, and if you're not just gonna step up to the Woburn 2, like, you're already in it almost $400. You might as well just go up to 550 and be done with it. If you look at it compared to the Woburn, it, 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 this is a shelf speaker. You know, this the Woburn is like a room statement. It's, it's big, and until you see it in person, I don't think you can really truly appreciate it, how much bigger the Wilburn is. And then, for example, look at how close the Stanmore is compared to the Acton. They're really, it's really not that much bigger than the Acton. I think that's what kind of helps drive it home. Whereas with the Tufton, it's, it's pretty much almost the same size. Well, let's go ahead and take a listen. So get your headphones on and let's see what sounds we like the most. Wow, I am actually really blown away and <laughs> didn't expect some of them to sound the way they sounded. I wish you were here so you could have heard that in person. 
The Stanmore was really not my favorite speaker out of the bunch. Like it, it sonically sounded pretty close to the Woburn too. Like those were both at 75% power and they both sounded good. The Woburn 2 obviously sounded a little bit better. It just had more breathing room with the bass, a little bit of crampingness uh, on the Stanmore. It just, yeah, it definitely didn't sound like it could get as many of the frequencies. It was really good, like, and you wouldn't be able to perceive that most of the time if you were just casually listening to music, but I could, I could definitely hear a distinct difference. But what, like, really blew me away <laughs> uh, was, honestly, like, out of the bunch, the best sounding speakers to me was the Acton, just like sonically, the Gen 1 Woburn, and the Tufton sounded really good in this test. The Acton just had like a really nice warm sound. Yeah, it was at 100% power, but I could have easily cranked it up another 30% through my phone. I would honestly give like a Gen 1 um, Acton a chance because it's significantly cheaper. The, the Gen 1 Woburn, I noticed this on my last video when I was comparing it to the Woburn 2, it, it does get significantly louder. I'm not sure how it's done. It's it, the amplifier to the speakers is like set up differently, but like, I, my God, I had that thing at 30% power and it was loud. Everything else was at least at 70% power or higher. So yeah, <laughs> that was pretty incredible. The Stanmore too, to me is, it's really more of a jack of all trades and a master of none though. If you only had a choice between the Stanmore and the Woburn 2, sure, they're actually pretty similar volume-wise, and there's not that much worse. But what I'm really getting from this is, like, these speakers on my right side have, like, tremendous value for what they were. Sure, the, the Tufton's 450 bucks, so that one is definitely um, almost $100 more than the Stanmore because it's got the portable features built into it. And it used to be the same price, but it's not anymore, but... I would say like if you can find a Tufton for 379 and you additionally want the portability, that's a really good buy over the Stanmore. You're getting much more out of that. Um, and yeah, probably the cheapest, that's Acton. If you really don't need to crank it up, like if you're just listening to NPR in the morning or I'm just trying to enjoy some good vocals and you don't ever want to go super loud, the Acton Gen 1 might be a really, really good buy. And then yeah, the... <laughs> The, the Woburn Gen 1 still, like, to me, sounds like the king. That is still, like, vastly the warmest and the best speaker for this test. It, it changes every day, honestly, and I'm sure what you're hearing on through your headphones is also very different, but it's you're not getting the same experience as I am, and so I'm trying to give you my best feedback about, like, first impressions, and, man, the, the Stanmore really wasn't that impressive, to be honest, so... Yeah, I don't know. I think you should either try to find a better deal, like maybe look for the Gen 1s or uh, just go all the way up to the Woburn. Or if, oh yeah, the obvious. What if what if you just got a Stanmore Gen 1? That would probably be amazing. That actually would probably be the best buy. And I'm sure it's, I bet you can get those for like 200, 250 bucks probably. Yeah, I would skip the Stanmore. If you can go up or down, I think that's the right move. I, it's just, it's kind of in this unhappy place in the middle that's not very impressive to me. So anyways, I hope you thought that was uh, helpful and I'll see you on the next uh, YouTube video. Bye.